Joe, thank you for taking time with us off the block blog. Congratulations on back to back sweeps. So what are your emotions right now? Yeah, I mean, I'm so proud of our guys right now. That's a really good Irvine team. They're going to be one of the top teams at the end of the year, um, like they always are. They're a really good defensive team. Um, and we knew that coming in. So uh, hats off to them. They, uh, they were defending at a really high level, forced us to do some things that uh, were different than we've done over the past few weeks. So I'm just proud of the guys, though. One of the things that you guys succeeded tonight was uh, on the block, uh, and that's something that uh, Irvine usually is superior at. What were you guys, What was these uh, success? Key to that success? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, we both came off. Irvine and us came off. We were off for like 14 days, uh, and so we each had a chance to scout each other heavily. I know, like all our guys are just like volleyball guys, so we watched so much films individually as a team. Um, so we had watched pretty much every single one of their matches at least twice through, if not uh, more. But um, so we had a pretty good idea of kind of what they want to do offensively. So coming in, um, I felt like we did a good job executing. At times, we kind of let it slip, and that's when Irvine was able to kind of creep back in and push us. Um, but that's what kind of like, we come in. We always come in together and we talk about, all right, what are we going to do to make sure we slow down their run? Uh, and I'm just proud. You know, there's a lot of older guys and. Like you said, there's so many pieces of it, and Gage is such a phenomenal job in running our defense, and he's just a ridiculous player, and he's another reason why our not our front court is uh, having success as well uh, defensively. And let's talk a, bit, a little bit more about your your hitters. Uh, you get a, uh, a good view of uh, Rado, uh, Stein, and everybody else. Uh, how do you uh, Tell us about uh, that, that view and how do you uh, go about uh, distributing the ball when you know you have pretty much a great option no matter where you go? I mean, they, <laughs> I say this all the time, our hitters are just ridiculous. We have top level hitters in every single position. Um, and they make stuff so easily, uh, sorry, so easy. And even on poor sets where I'll make a bad decision and I'll put them in a tough situation or I'll, I won't put it in the best place, they're still, it, their footwork is just ridiculous and they get their feet to the ball um, and they know how, how to handle those situations. And that's why they're having so much success. You know, it starts with our passing, like I said, Gage, Colt, Stein, they do such a good job in our reception and get, uh, keeping us in system that our middles are able to get open and it opens up our pins. But all around, it's just really easy for me uh, to be able to run an offense like this. Can you take us a little bit more into practice? Uh, the Probably the most impressive thing I saw uh, in person tonight is just your serve. By far, probably the best serving team in the country. How do you guys, um, uh, what, what's the mindset? What do you guys do to be so successful at, uh, at serving? Um, you know, we, coming off last year, uh, we go into summer and Charlie tells us, he's like, I want us improving our, uh, the velocity of our service. You know, we're, we're a good serving team, but we're not we're not getting teams and uh, putting teams in uh, tough situations enough. And so coming into it, you know, we pride ourselves not only on the ability to get teams out of system, but also the efficiency. At, and we talked about afterwards, you know, we we're still not a finished product. We need to be able to go and have the same efficiency that we do at home on the road. Um, I don't think we quite executed that uh, that part of our serving um, this weekend, but we were still able to put enough pressure on them that we can still go on runs. Um, but I think going forward, yeah, that's going to be a big emphasis for us is making sure our efficiency stays out high while we're also going back and um, having purpose with what we're doing with, uh, from the service line. Let's talk about uh, the um, play on, on the road. Uh, obviously, this is your second road trip. You guys went to Charlotte, played three matches out there, but by far this is the biggest challenge so far. What is the biggest challenge of playing away from the islands? Yeah, I mean, everybody always talks about it. We hear it all the time around the island. We hear it from other teams. Uh, Hawaii doesn't play well on the road. Um, and that's, especially with the older group of guys this year, we knew that was what uh, people expect from us. And that was such a big emphasis, and that's why coaches constantly get us out of our comfort, uh, comfort zone in practice, and they create situations that we have to, uh, that we have to get out of. Um, I just think it uh, speaks to the experience level of this team, uh, and just kind of the will to win. You know, when you go on the road in these situations, we're, we have really tough road trips this year. You're just going to have to sort of grind it out. Even if you're not playing at the level you are, you're not serving at the efficiency you want, we still just have to grind it out, figure out a way to win. I think we did a really good job of that this weekend. It also helps to have uh, such great fans, even in Charlie. You, seem, you guys had a lot of uh, yeah. good support. Can you talk about how much of that means to you and the team to have the, the yeah. uh, support on the road? I mean, I can't speak to just uh, how blessed we are and how blessed I 
that I am uh, to be on this team. When we, the fan base here, home, everywhere is just ridiculous. We're going home for a big tournament next weekend, um, and the rumor is that it's going to be pretty big crowds, um, and it's just going to get bigger as we get closer to that Big West tournament that's in Honolulu. And so, you know, uh, we can't speak to how much the fans, we appreciate them and the love and support they bring. Um, but they're a huge part of the reason why we want to uh, be successful on the court. Well, thank you for taking time with us off the block blog. Congratulations again on the sweep and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you guys. Aloha.